I started at 6.30 this morning. It is 6 p.m. now. Um, I got the grounding rod into the corner so this thing's grounded. I have an uninterrupted power supply for the computers, um, which is supposed to help isolate them from the arc of the plasma torch. And I've been running through all of the tests necessary to fire up the torch. And I hope I'm getting closer and closer. I finally figured out how to generate a good G-code path here in Sheet Cam. You design the stuff first in like a drawing program, Inkscape is free. Um, then you have to import it to a CAM program to turn this basically design file into machine code. Um, so from computer code to machine code. And then take a USB drive plug it into the desktop computer here which of course is hooked up to the controller and also to the plasma which then generates all this crazy shit going on right here and basically um, I know this is going by really fast but here I'll pause it let's see here so if you look at these real quick it's just X Y I and J must be uh, in a curve or something would be my guess. I was trying to tell it, you know, how to go through a curve. But um, this is just algebra. This is X and Y. So X, 7.312 inches. Y, 9.078 inches. And it just goes zip to that location. And this one's X, 7.286 inches. Y, 9.091 inches. And uh, it already has the feed rate. You know how fast it's going to go. Um, it's already set. Anyways, we'll just keep this going here. And it just goes through it really quick at basically computer speed, which is cool. And then you can kind of track the progress here. So that's real time as it's moving. So right now I have the plasma off, it's disabled because I'd rather not be wasting steel if I don't have to. So I think that's really the last thing, is to fire the torch. See if we can't get this thing running for real. This got bent off of here. I wonder what happened, I missed it. Anyways, you guys see it? Let's try this again. And now nothing. <laughs> so that's pretty much that's pretty much been my life uh, for the last two weeks. So you know it was cutting metal, was moving just fine, and uh, now it just took a shit on me. So back to the drawing board. See if we can figure this thing out. All right, guys. So um, I gave up 
left last night after about 14 hours in the shop here. Uh, the torch crashed. Anyways, you, you guys saw what happened. It's the next day and I'm still trying to get this thing running, but I did get some successful test cuts out of the way. They are the right size, the right orientation. The torch height control is working uh, as far as I can tell. This is what I came up with, is just a bunch of straight lines to do some testing and make sure that the program is running correctly. Um, so now, I say we go back to a more complicated shape, see if we can get this logo to cut out like I was trying to do earlier. Got the program all loaded up, the table, got to come over here and zero it out, and live view, alright, looks like it's got a plan. Still some kinks to work out. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, so this is what we're working with here. Um, looks like I don't have any lead ends for any of these, so I've got these uh, marks where it pierced. And the torch was running into the plate sometimes when it did its, its homing move or Z move. Um, it wasn't coming all the way back up every time, so it was kind of getting knocked off, and I just manually put it back on there. So that's where uh, these cuts right here and these letters got messed up. Um, same thing here on this T, the B, the M. So this little small detail work uh, still leaves something to be desired, but. Um, it did pretty good when it got one continuous cut and the torch height control could activate. Um, not a whole lot of slag on here, dross. Uh, pretty clean cut right out the gate with the factory settings from uh, Hypertherm and Command CNC all loaded in. So overall, I'm really happy with the results here. 11 and 316, 11 and 316. 11 and 316. 11 and 316. Um, I mean, obviously, this isn't a square test or a round test, but that's a pretty good sign. 8 and 3 8. 8 and 3 8. 8 and 3 8.
and eight and three eighths. So uh, for square and round, I think I'm in pretty good shape. Just some more tests to do. Whoa, this is fucking crazy. Uh, it's been a lot of frustration, a lot of hours out here, uh, a lot of troubleshooting, but it's, uh, it's actually cutting parts. So I feel like I haven't wasted my time out here. And I think I'm just basically uh, probably a long list of, of fine tuning things to work through before this thing's uh, really operational and I can lean on it reliably to build some parts. But in the meantime, um, I'm just gonna get back on this and keep working out these kinks and hopefully, um, I know better than to say a time frame. Anyways, hopefully soon I'll have all the kinks worked out and this table will be fully operational. So um, keep following along, guys.